You have to go. Why don't you just come back down here and we'll pick up where we left off? Well, I'm late, which isn't what you want to be on your first day of work, so... Um... Goodbye. Derek. Derek. <laughs> right, Meredith. Meredith. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice meeting you. Bye, Derek. Security belongs to the new attending now. Dr. Shepard, he's over there. Dr. Shepard. This morning it was Derek. Dr. Shepard, we should pretend it never happened. What never happened? You sleeping with me last night? Or are you throwing me out this morning? Because both are fond memories I like to hold on to. No, there will be no memories. I'm not the girl in the bar anymore, and you're not the guy. You took advantage of me, and now you want to forget about I it. I did not. I take... was drunk, vulnerable, and good looking, and you took advantage. Okay, I was the one who was drunk, and you are not that good looking. You're an attending, and I'm your intern. Mm. Stop looking at me like that. Like what? Like you've seen me naked. Dr. Shepard, this is inappropriate. What the hell happened? She had a seizure, a seizure. and her heart stopped. Oh, you were supposed to be monitoring her. I checked on her and she... I got her. Just, just go. Well, good morning. I'm going to do something pretty rare for a surgeon. I'm going to ask interns for help. I've got this kid, Katie Bryce. Right now, she's a mystery. Whoever finds the answer rides with me. Katie needs surgery. You get to do what no interns get to do. Scrub in to assist on an advanced procedure. Are you serious? You're not gonna tell me why you won't work with Shepard? We had sex. Was he good? I mean, he looks like he'd be good. Was it any good? Um, there's no medical proof of an aneurysm. Right. But what if she has an aneurysm anyway? There are no indicators. Well, you know what the chances that a minor fall could burst an aneurysm? One in a million, literally. Let's go. Where? Find out if Katie's one in a million. I'll be damned. It's minute, but it's there. It's a subarachnoid hemorrhage. You two did great work. Oh, uh, Dr. Shepard, you said that you'd, you'd pick someone to scrub in if we helped? I'm sorry I can't take you both. Meredith, I'll see you in OR. Did you choose me for the surgery because I slept with you? Yes. I'm kidding. I'm not going to scrub in for surgery. It's You're okay. Katie's doctor. On your first day, with very little training, you helped save her life. You earned the right to follow her case through to the finish. You shouldn't let the fact that we had sex get in the way of you taking your shot. All right, everybody. It's a beautiful night to save lives. Let's have some fun. That was amazing. Hmm. That was such a high. I don't know why anybody does drugs. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you around. See you around. Seattle has ferry boats. Yes. I didn't know that. I have a thing for ferry boats. I'm not going out with you. Did I ask you to go out with me? Do you want to go out with me? I'm not dating you, and I'm definitely not sleeping with you again. You're my boss. I'm your boss is boss. You're sexually harassing me. I'm riding an elevator. Look, I'm drawing a line. Is it imaginary, or do I need to get you on the marker? kissing but we're not dating I knew that was gonna come up don't get me wrong I like to kiss it I'm all for the kissing or kissing I say I have no idea what that was about it's gonna happen again because if it is I need to bring breath mints Put a in my shut up now <laughs> it's intense this thing I have for uh, fairy boats I mean I'm so taking the stairs this time no self-control. It's sad. Really. You make out with patience now? What, are you jealous? I don't get jealous. We had sex. Once. And we kissed in an elevator. And we kissed in an elevator. Once. No, seriously. Come on, come on. Go out with me. No. How would you feel if I died? And you didn't get a chance to go out with me. Get over yourself already. Come on. It's the chase. The thrill of the chase. Why are you so hell-bent on getting me to go out with you? You know you're my boss. You know it's against the rules. You know I keep saying no. It's the chase. Well, it's fun, isn't it? You see? This is a game to you. But not to me. Because unlike you, I still have something to prove. You're asking my advice? Yes. Now, who's chasing? Not funny. This is important. She attacked. 
Meredith, 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 Meredith. What? It's just nothing. It's not the chase. What? You and me. It's not a game. It's your tiny ineffectual fists in your hair. My hair? It smells good. And you're very, very bossy. It keeps me in line. I'm still not going out with you. You say that now. You're here early. I'll be out at six. I thought I might buy your breakfast before you round. I've already eaten. What would you have? None of your business. Fine. Leftover grilled cheese. That's pathetic. A good day starts with a good breakfast. Look, I'm not being seen with you in this hospital. Learning? Living. It's unprofessional. Think of it as an attending getting to know one of his interns. He slept with the intern. I barely knew her. You want me to be professional? I'll be professional. That's what I want. Nice talking to you, Dr. Gray. Grilled cheese again? Cold pizza. You need to consider what you'll lose. He'll be there, but he won't be Jorge. He won't even recognize... This is our business. You have no idea. Isn't five good years better than ten bad ones? Meredith, what the hell are you doing? Where do you go when you're in love and the world knows how do you live so happily? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. You sure? Because you seem not okay. I'm fine. Let me take you out to dinner tonight. You can tell me all about it. I can't. Forget about the party. You know about the party? You and I can be alone somewhere else. Thanks for not inviting me, by the way. That felt good. Think about dinner. Perfect opportunity. We're adults. When did that happen? And how do we make it stop? You know, in some states you get arrested for that. So you blew me off for a bottle of tequila. Tequila's no good for you. Doesn't call, doesn't write. It's not nearly as much fun to wake up to. Take me for a ride, Derek. We should probably sneak inside now. Oh, we did enough sneaking for the night. It was good sneaking, but enough sneaking. Yeah, I said we're pretty good sneakers. You mind moving this tail wagon? You blocking me in. Apparently not good enough. <clears throat> Meredith, you okay? Yeah, one month probation. Good. That's good. Yeah. Crap. Crap. Hi, I'm late. You're avoiding me. Yes, but also late. Are we going to talk about this? I don't need to talk about it. I experienced it. Naked. This is getting complicated. Complicated for me. I'm the intern sleeping with the attending. I was a better guy. I'd walk away. Yes, you would. Do you want me to be a better guy? Yes. No. Crap. I'm late. Take your time. Think about it. I have to end it. Please. You better hot doctor. Let's make you open up and say, ah. Oh. American dreams. Stop whining about it. No, no good can come from sleeping with your boss. Mr. Levengi, this is Dr. Bailey and our fine staff of surgical interns. Intraspinal catheter. That way he can have constant pain medication. Excellent. She's going to prep you for the procedure and assist. Excuse me. But if you think I'm going to stand back and watch while you favor her... I don't favor her. She's good. She is. Six, seven, Dr. Shepard. We're talking about a brain surgery. It is performed while the patient is wide awake. There is a risk of paralysis, a risk of death, and the patient doesn't want it. It is not my job to push him into anything, and it's definitely not yours. Since you're clearly uncomfortable with my decision in this case, it's probably best you don't scrub it. But... It's a minor procedure. You won't be missed. It's just that he blatantly favors me in front of her and then blatantly dismisses me. It's because Shepard likes so much your cookies. Doesn't mean that you didn't deserve what you worked for. But he's making me look bad. I have to end it. Right. It's over. Uh huh. Shepard's a jackass. You mean about when I'm in Dr. Shepard. Yes. Mr. Levangie has agreed to DBS. If we do it today. 
Let's do it. Just take a couple deep breaths. Focus on the pretty girl. <laughs> Bailey was on the warpath. I was trying to protect you. You trying to protect me is why she's on the warpath. You can't do me favors. You can't ask me to scrub in when I haven't earned okay. it. Okay. Okay. And you can't treat me like crap when I haven't earned that either. Okay. I can take care of myself. I got myself into this mess and I... And you'll get yourself out? I don't know that yet. You did great work here today. Dr. Shepard. Yeah. Sorry I called you a jackass. You didn't. I did. Tell you what, Rondi. If you don't marry him, I will. I um, know this place where there's an amazing view of sunrise over the ferry boats. I have a thing for ferry boats. I remember. And you have to leave before they see you. Oh, come on. Why don't you just let them see you? <laughs> no. Please. No, no. Well, do you want the long sorted version or do you want the short version where I started sleeping with a guy who turned out to be my boss? Neither. You have their respect without even trying and you're throwing it away for what? A few good surgeries? No. It's not about the surgeries. It's not about getting ahead. Oh, my God. You're falling for him. I am not. Oh, you so are. No, I'm not. You know, it's just that he's just so... And I'm just... I'm having a hard time. I hate you! So, um, how hot is the sex? Is he? You know, we could just... Sleep? We could, yeah, if, 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 if you want to. Yeah? The sleeping bag underneath the stars he would lie Oh, thank God. So let's go sleep at your house tonight. What? Do you even have one? One what? A house. Mm. Hey, you said so yourself. You like to have your things around, sleeping in your own bed. I haven't been here for a whole week. Even they think it's weird. It's just that I hardly know anything about you. You know him from New York? You know I like ferry boats. What about your friends? I'm a surgeon. I don't have friends. Everybody has friends. We're having sex every night. I think I deserve details. You have more details than most. See, this is going somewhere weird. I want facts. And until I get them, my pants are staying on. Be flexible. See what happens. I'm not flexible. <laughs> ah, there, I disagree. We'll find these things out. That's the fun part, you know? That's the gravy. That is what I'm talking about. I don't want to be your gravy. Ugh. Well, you were wrong. You don't always get what you expect, do you? What is your problem? Give me something to go on. Anything. What are your grandparents' names? They don't have grandparents. Lighten up. It'll be good for your blood pressure. Oh, don't you tell me to lighten up. I'll lighten up when I feel light. You were right. <laughs> You know, you keep taking everything on faith. How do you know what's real and what's not? You just do. You know, some people would call this a relationship. A time where you exchange keys, leave your toothbrush over. Who would call it that? Me. I would. And I'm supposed to believe you. Oh. Show me something. Give me a reason to believe. I'm under no illusions now. How can I see when I am... Where are we? Tell you. All right, my mother's maiden name, Maloney. I have four sisters. I have uh, nine nieces, five nephews. I like coffee ice cream, single malt scotch, occasionally a good cigar. I like to fly fish. And I cheat when I do the crossword puzzle on Sunday. And I never dance in public. Um, favorite novel, Sun Also Rises. Favorite band, The Clash. Favorite color is blue. I don't like light indigo. The scar right here on my forehead, that's why I don't ride motorcycles anymore. And I live in that trailer. All this land is mine. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. So that's it. That's all you've earned for now. The rest you're just... It's going to have to take on faith.
with this hour. It's the wrong number. Aren't you gonna get that? I'm over the hospital. It's not. Breakfast? You've aged. Yeah, I need you to help me out on something for the chief. Can you keep a secret? Better than you think. You tell me if I need to get tested, right? You think I have siblings? No, I don't. It's just, we never made any rules or anything. I mean, we... When would I have time to go out and get syphilis? You're handful enough as it is. And besides, we're like practically a condom ad. Maybe we should, you know, make some rules. I mean. We should. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. A lot of secret phone calls today. Yeah, it's my mother. She isn't traveling. I've been lying to everyone. Why? She has Alzheimer's. How advanced? Very. She's in a home, and I'm the only one who even knows she's sick. I just don't know what to do anymore, you know? He's an attending. You're an intern. You saw us? You can see. I'm gonna tell you what your mother would say if she were here. You're making a mistake. A big one. And I would tell my mother it's not a mistake. Long day. Yeah. Someone out there has a steak with your name on it. And maybe a bottle of wine. This is why I keep you around. So we need to talk. Wine first, talk later. You try and do a... Get me drunk so you can take advantage of me? <laughs> I think I like this rules thing. Me too. Meredith, I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? Well, you'd know if you bothered to return any one of my phone calls. Hi, I'm Anderson Shepard. Shepard? And you must be the woman who's been screwing my husband. <laughs>